Hey guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys two techniques on how to draw a survey plan. If you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this. Now let's get started guys. So guys, this is the survey plan we are going to draw. And I've actually drawn this before. This is the first one and this is the second techniques. As you can see, there's a little error right here, and which we usually have with drawing a survey plan. And this is the second method which I used, and it gave us a perfect survey plan. Now, if I were you, I would sit back and relax, enjoy this video. Make sure you don't skip so you don't miss the important points. Now, for the first one, we have this figure right here which we got for the first one. So for the first one is when you start, this, this is survey plan is measured in, the angles are measured in degrees, minutes, and seconds. The seconds is all not there because it is zero. If it wasn't zero, it would have been indicated there. Same thing, degrees, minutes, and seconds, and so on. And this is the distance, okay? Now, we used for the first method, you will say 90, 90 minus this figure right here, it will give you this. 90 minus this figure right here, which is 320, it will give you this. 90 minus 4, 49, will give you 41. And 90 minus 140, will give you minus 50. All right? So, but before we do, we should go to option, make sure we set up our working unit, okay? By default, it is usually millimeter and, and decimal degrees. Okay, that is by default. So it is important we go, we change it to meters and angle unit, we change it to degrees, minutes, and seconds. And then we press OK. All right. So we go to our line, pick our line tool, then you start drawing. We say, draw it, make sure it is straight at 90 degrees. And then this one, you start with the distance, which is 30, 30, and you, you press your tab to go down to the angle. And then instead of using 229, which is this, you say minus, you say minus 139 space 30, 34 minutes and space zero seconds, which is not there, but it is actually zero seconds. Then you press enter. Okay. You say, okay. Make sure you don't use a continuous line and you start from the end point. Start from the end point again. We are going to take this. Start with distance 20. You press your tab to go down to the angle and you say instead of using this you use this having subtracted it by 90 all right so you say minus 230 space 40 46 space zero seconds and you say enter okay then you start over again from that point make sure it is 90 degrees Make sure it is 90 degrees and then you start with your distance, 30 meters, tab, to go down to your, to go down to the angle, then you say, haven't subtracted by 90, you have 41. So sorry, I shifted that. Let's go back to our, our distance. Let's go back to our distance. Start from the end point. You say 30, tab, okay? Make sure it is at 90 degrees. 30, tab, having subtracted by 90, you have 41. You have subtracted 49 degrees, okay? By 90, you have 41. Then you say 41, space, 34, space, zero seconds and then you press enter 
start over again from the end point okay for this make sure your when you're starting is at 90 degrees and then you say 20 which is the distance you press your tab to go down to the angle and then you say having subtracted 90 from 140 it will have 50 then you say minus 50 minus 50 space 49 minute space zero seconds then you say enter now this is what it gave us you see the little distance which we which we usually have with our survey for survey plan okay now this is the first method which i think it's not totally reliable because our second method seems to be accurate so now let's start our second method we start with the line the same way we started with the first one but the difference is that this one instead of starting with the distance we start with the angle okay so we are going to start with this angle right here okay down to this one this one and this one okay so we say we put it up make sure it is 90 degrees and then we say tab tab make sure you go to your angle first and then you say 229 space 34 minutes space zero seconds and then we have to go back to our distance by pressing shift tab on our keyboard okay but before we do that let's cancel let's cancel this there's something we usually do at the end of the figure after pressing the, the angle let's start over again then we go to our angle two two nine space 34 space zero you must press minus okay you must press minus then you go back to the distance by pressing shift tab on your keyboard and then you press the distance which is 30 you say 30 meters and press enter okay then you start over again from this end point you want to make sure this is closed so that we can see it we are using this one right now start from the end point and we say we go down to our angle we go down to our angle we press 320 shift 40 six sec uh, minutes and shift zero seconds then you press minus okay must make sure you press minus at the end of it and then you say shift tab shift tab to go down to our distance and then you press 20 meters and say enter all right do the same thing start your point make sure it's at 90 degrees and you impute the angle pressing tab make sure you press tab to go to your angle you press 49 degrees space 30 minutes space zero seconds then you press minus okay make sure you press minus at the end of it and then you go back to your distance which is shift tab and you impute your 30 meters and say enter okay the same thing we start our line again at the end of the last line then we go down pressing tab on your keyboard start with 140 which is the last one 140 degrees space 46 minutes space zero seconds is zero seconds then you press minus at the end okay then we go back to our distance shift tab and you say 20 meters as you can see guys as you can see see what it gave us it gave us precisely the accurate measurement of our survey plan so you see we have this 
right here this little error distance which if we join it is definitely going to increase the distance of this point and why this the second option second techniques gave us absolute accurate survey plan so it's up to us to know what we we want or the method that is quite easy for us as for me i'm going with the second method this right here is okay for me all right except otherwise this is the perfect one for me doesn't simply mean this is not correct but although this is not correct because if this is going to be here and increasing our land a bit it's technically not 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 reliable so i'll, pref I'll prefer to go with this I advise to go with this all right and this draws us to the end of this video don't forget to like share comment thank you for watching and i will see you in my next one bye bye